What's up guys, Yaxo here and I haven't done a tutorial in a long time so I think I'll just start off by um, teaching you guys how to use After Effects since a lot of you guys don't know how to use After Effects and you guys have messaged me on Skype and saying that I explained well. So anyway, this is going to be my tutorial on how to use After Effects from start to finish, like how to edit something. Well, I don't know if I'm actually going to edit something, but I'll just teach you guys how to add effects and stuff, how everything works, how to cut stuff, how to do everything. So, pretty much, uh, I'm going to probably make this a series. I don't know, but if you guys want, just comment. I'll make it a series. And if you guys are looking for over-edit tutorials, just comment with some good suggestions because I'm running out of suggestions for them. So, anyways, now, so, the After Effects I'm going to be... I'm going to be teaching you guys this on is um, After Effects CS6. So if you guys don't have it, um, go search up how to get it or whatever, buy it, whatever you need to do. Um, you don't have to have this, but this is just my way. So anyways, the interface, like how it looks. So pretty much this is, this. I'm guessing this is going to be your first time opening After Effects and you know nothing about how to use it. So this is where like you import your clips and it shows all the names of your clips. Um, this is where you're going to view your composition which is pretty much like a like your project so this is where you're going to view everything um this is where the name of the layer is going to be and this is where the actual layer is going to be so you can move it around the timeline and whatever so there's going to be zero and this is going to be um whatever time you want so anyways so um you guys probably think after effects is really hard and complicated and shit i used to be just like you when I first started on After Effects, I was like, what the hell, how do I use this program and shit? But after I watched some tutorials on how to use the effects, it actually got really simple. And the only difference is about After Effects and Sony Vegas is that you, like, you get a keyframe and you have more free, like you can do more free stuff and have more effects in After Effects. So if you know how to keyframe, you'll be good at using After Effects. If you don't, I'll just teach you right now. So anyway, so we're going to start off by, wait, uh, like if you guys move around this shit like if you guys move this here and you close this close this and you want the like you mess around with this and it's all messed up and shit all you gotta do is just go to window workspace and reset to standard click it and everything will go back to normal so don't be afraid to move around your shit to where you wanna like where you want it to be handy and shit so anyways i'm gonna start off by going to file import file and this is how you import your file so let's just go to videos let's go to model for two clips aqua cams and let's pick uh, where is it where is it yeah i'll just pick the first one whatever it doesn't matter so it just comes up importing and then right here it is so this is where the clips are if you imported more yeah, i'll just import import multiple five you guys want to import multiple files click it click open and it'll go straight back to the thing. Click another one. I think I click the same thing four times. Never mind. I'm retarded. Okay. Just click done. There you go. I got some so you guys can see like all the clips. It shows like a little preview on it. If you double click it, you can like see what it is and stuff. You can just drag along this poo shit. Whatever. You don't need that. And then just. So pretty much this is like we just imported our clips. So now to actually make a video thing, you got to drag the one you want into this little button. So this makes a composition. And a composition is like a video layer thing. So uh, if you like now, if you see, it's only 10 seconds or however long your clips are. So if you want to change that to like how long you want your episode to be, just go to the composition, composition settings. And right here is all the stuff. You can mess around with this 1280 by 720, 59.9 for four frames per second. I suggest you got you have clips like that or higher. Um, I'm going to change it to zero, zero. Um, zero zero and i think this is like hours minutes seconds and milliseconds so i'm gonna make it um three minutes so as you can see three minutes so so now if i stretch this out you can see like it goes like 15 seconds thing whatever and it goes three minutes so you can mess around with that at the end you can just change it to whatever it is or whatever so now that I imported my clips, you may want to like import other clips like sorry, I imported that and this. So I have three clips. So like you see this thing, this is like the clip. So if I were to move this down here, move this down here and I just want to play this one clip. So drag this thing, this little uh, whatever you want. And this is like the rendering thing. So in Sony Vegas, it's like that little two markers at the top where it only renders that little bit. And in in After Effects, you got to click this RAM preview button, not the play button. So make sure if you want to watch your thing with the sound and everything, 
click the RAM preview, it's going to start rendering out. Like, you can see this little green line thing, and it's going to start rendering out. Once it hits the end, it's going to start playing back by itself. So, it does this because, like, it wants to play it nice and smooth. So, you're going to have to wait a little bit. It's not like Tony Vegas where it just plays it right away. So, anyways, just look. Let this load. So as you can see the green things like the green line that means like what we can play and shit so anyways um say is your it take it took like long that's probably because your like quality thing is on full like when it's on full it takes long so i just i suggest you click this thing and you put it on quarter right away it doesn't really matter for now because you're just gonna like you're just editing it right now so in the in the final you can turn it into like uh, full or whatever you want so now say you want to like um so you want to add a color correction so um on your video like above it so it looks cool just um i suggest you do it this way instead of adding color correction to every layer just go to layer new uh, adjustment layer and adjustment layers are just like just nothing they're just like a invisible layer and you can add stuff to it and then everything underneath it will get in fact like affected by it so if i click on the adjustment layer and i go to the top where the effects are and then I go to, um, let's say, Magic Bullet Looks. You probably won't have this because it's a plugin. So, Magic Bullet Looks. Okay, never mind. Not Magic Bullet Looks. Color correction. Um, let's say, Human Saturation. So, whatever you add to here, like to this layer, it's going to be about, like, underneath. So, like, under, underneath there. See, this? I'm moving around the adjustment layer right now. So, let's just move that back to its normal position. Control Z. Okay, so as you can see, you can like color correct it and whatever, add your color corrections. So, um, right here, it can also be like the effects tab, like the, I don't know what the hell to call it, but it can also be your effect, it can also be your effects thing. So, you can also, um, just mess around with the effects here and you can check off effects, turn them back on, like, you know, check them off. Turn it back on, whatever. You can delete them from here. Wait, I'm gonna click delete. And then you can slide it and you click project and then like you can mess around with this, like click on these, whatever you want. Um, Okay, now let's say you wanna add, let's just add a effect in which you keyframe. So pretty much everything in After Effects, you have to keyframe. So let's go to distort, let's add a, uh, turbulent displacement. I don't know what the oh shit it's sexy. Okay, so let's put this amount to zero Since like this is all the like the stuff you can mess around with this shit and Yeah, so that's how it looks. So I don't want it to look like this in the beginning Wait, Let's go back here. So I don't see how it's all messed up and shit. I don't want it to look like that So I'm gonna put the amount to zero because I don't want it to be like that So then I'm gonna click this little stopwatch and what this does it tells the After Effects to make a point. So this is the point, like the first point in the thing. And then you want to move front. So I want it to start after this. So I'm going to click on the adjustment layer. Go down. Click this little down arrow. Go to Effects. Turbulent Displacement. And then under Amount, you can see this little keyframe thing. So to add, like this is just nothing. So this is, is this point is zero, as you can see. And then if I go here... I'm going to click it again, so then it tells After Effects during these two parts, it's just zero. So then I want it to start. After it hits this, it's going to start with the thing. So right here, it's, and from here to here where my thing is, my red thing, I'm going to bring it up to, let's say there. So now it automatically made a keyframe for me. Like when you change up the stuff, like if I go here and, I'm, and I change this to six, it will automatically make a keyframe. And then you can like I wanna like wait, let's just let's just see. I'm getting too confused right now. So let's just see how it looks. So click the RAM preview button, wait till the green thing just loads all the way. La 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 la. So anyways, while this is rendering, I just wanna tell you guys like if you guys have problems using After Effects, um the way I got used to it was I forced myself to use it. I uninstalled Sony Vegas from my computer so I couldn't use it even if I wanted to. And I just watched a shitload of tutorials. 
on how to use After Effects. And apparently, like, it's actually really simple. So, just, yeah, I'm just trying to get that through your head. It's actually really simple. <coughs> okay, just watch this. So, if you can see, like, it got a little, like, thing. So, like... From here, this point to this point, it was zero, like I told you. And then from here, it starts going up. See, it goes up, goes up, goes up, goes up. And then it goes to this point. And then from here, it goes all the way back down to six and whatever. I'm just going to go a little ahead and make it a zero. So what that does is it just made it, it started at zero. And I want to hit this keyframe right here. Went from zero straight to... 53 and then once we passed that keyframe it went straight back to five or six and then from there it went to zero So we just added effect to it. You can mess around with the size You don't you don't have to keyframe the size and stuff because it will just affect it like right away like if you know what I mean Or you can you can like keyframe this things to like all these stuff So if I wanted to make it like wiggle and stuff, I would go to the part where I wanted to start wiggling I would be like right here here would be a good spot. So I just click the stopwatch again and it makes a keyframe. And then I go to where I want it to start, like to wiggle up to. <coughs> okay, there. There. And I just brought it up. I just messed around with the stuff. So now that just made a keyframe. So as you can see, we go, we go, and it starts wiggling and whatever. Wait, I'll ramp preview it so you guys can see. And that little green thing, you gotta wait till it reaches. Okay, here. Okay, anyways, so the way After Effects works is whatever layers on top is going to be first. So if I were to bring this all the way back, this layer, and then I were to put this above the layer I just saw, so it just takes up the spot. So I'm not going to want to do that. Like, I want to like put it after this. Let's drag this out a little bit. So it just goes into the next clip. I'm not going to actually edit this. I'm just going to teach you guys how to do it. So say you want to start it from from there. What you what you want to do to cut it from right there is just go to edit um, and split layer. You can also learn that and just press it right away. And I'll just split the layer. And then all you got to do is just delete the underneath layer. So, and then move this. And then if you if you if it's not accurate, just zoom this in. Bring this into and make sure it's accurate to the max, like right there. See, so as soon as it went there, it started from there. Um, now make sure you guys do this if you guys are editing your clips and stuff, you guys don't want to check off the, the music layer, so then the sounds in the background of all the reactions and stuff are gone. You may want it or whatever, but trust me, you can just download reactions or whatever <laughs> if you want it. If you really wanted reactions, it doesn't really matter, it just makes the Sniper sound better like when you shoot you gotta go find a like go to YouTube and search up gun sounds Mono for two gun sounds or whatever game you're playing and there should be a sniper sound in there. Just drag it and time it so um Let's try Another effect on this layer. So let's try let's go to add an effect if you don't know already you click on the layer Make sure you have the layer selected go to effect and then these are all the effects you guys have. You guys may not have some of these, like Video Copilot or Magic Bullet Looks, Magic Bullet, all this stuff. Because these are all plugins I downloaded. So I'm just going to add uh, one that's already in your After Effects. So um, Distort is a really good one. So just check out the Distort ones. Um, let's say... Um, Sphere Eyes, what is this? Okay, that's some ugly ass friggin' effect. Delete that. Okay, let's go back into the effects. Go to distort. Um, let's do Okay, smear. Let's see what smear is. Um also this is what I do to just find my some cool original effects. I just 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 open up something, just add some distort effects to it, like um liquify. I don't know what the hell this is. Oh, this is actually pretty cool. Wrap tools. You can mess around with these settings and stuff. Just, just don't be afraid to experiment, guys. That's the one thing you gotta not be afraid of. So you can move around this thing. You can warp it so it gets bigger <laughs> and all that stuff. What is this? Thing? I've never used this effect. This is cool. 
you can do some cool effects like that make some original effects like before he shoots the map does some shit i don't know Ooh, look at that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, anyway, so now I just I added something. Just click this stuff. Do some waves. Do some waves. Click these random stuff. Just experiment. That's what I'm doing right now, guys. Experiment. Okay, this looks friggin'. What the hell is happening? Oh, it's on zero. No wonder. <laughs> So if you click it, it's gonna get bigger, make the gun weird, make this throwing knife enlarge. Oh, you can also do this to the kill feed. Like if there's a kill feed, you could zoom it in so people can see. Like bulge it out. You can do this on the X. Whatever you want. And then just if you want it like to come in at once, like say he's he's doing Okay, say as soon as he starts capturing it, I want him to do the start these things start like happening. So go right to this part. Uh, you can click the back frame button, go back frame by frame, and find the exact point. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Shit is. What the hell is happening? Why is it going higher as I go back? Oh, because he did it twice. This guy's amazing. Okay. I'm just going to start it right here cuz I don't want to waste your time. So, for this effect, the uh, the like the settings are right here. So, you want to make sure you have your thing clicked. Um click the stopwatch. You're always going to want to click the stopwatch to start the effect. And then move, move out. I want it to go as he starts spinning, it goes into the effect like the map starts enlarging this starts getting weird this starts getting weird this starts getting weird everything starts getting weird and then see how you there's no settings and stuff so you gotta go back to your thing click the down arrow go to effects liquify and then it's right here so here's the keyframes that i just made so i made one when he starts spinning the holding the care package and then right there and i want it to stop as soon as he shoots so find the spot where he shoots and I'm gonna click this because I don't during these two times I want this effect to be going and then I want it to stop right there I guess so I just bring it back to zero or bring it back friggin zero okay number lock zero okay there you go so now if I were to drag this here I just want to play this clip so you guys can see what I'm talking about and drag this um go up put this out just try get here. I just want to see this one clip. Okay, so just click RAM preview and wait. So, um, if your After Effects is slow or whatever, just try and close all the programs on your computer. So like, um, just close all the programs on your computer so it goes faster or something. If you have a good computer, there's no worries. So, anyways, I'm just gonna click play because you guys already seen it. So check it out. Ooh, that's actually a sick effect. I'm not even gonna lie. The map thing, look how sick that looks. So it just goes and it starts getting weird. And then, like, as soon as you shoot, it goes to zero. That's sick. So, um, holy shit, it's 18 minutes long. Um, so sorry, guys, if this was a long tutorial. Um, for part two, just start, um, what's it called? Whatever comment on what you guys want in part two what you guys want to learn what what tutorials you guys want so um once again if you guys like this tutorial just like it um sorry if i was all over the place i wasn't like thinking properly so um i'm yakso and i'm out guys peace